Hi, good day. Let us learn about series and parallel circuits using FET simulation. In this video, we shall use the Circuit Connection Kit DC Virtual Lab. After opening the simulation, you can see the different materials that we need to use to build the circuits, while the right side of the screen are the show current, labels, values, voltmeter, and the ammeter. Let us build a simple series circuit and parallel circuit by dragging the needed materials. two bulbs in one dry cell and connect the ammeter in position 1, 2, 3, then we shall determine the voltage using a voltmeter just like in this figure. Okay, let us make a simple series circuit. Now that we have built the circuits, let us answer the following questions. How does the current reading at positions 1, 2, and 3 compare? What does this tell you? Amazing! The amount of current is the same through any component in a series circuit. Applying Ohm's law, the total current is equal to the current that passes to bulb 1 and bulb 2. So we have 0 0.45 ampere. The second question is this. How does the voltage reading at positions 1, 2, and 3? What does this tell you? Magnificent! The supply voltage in a series circuit is equal to the sum of the individual voltage drops or it can be written as total voltage is equal to V sub 1 plus V sub 2. Then the total voltage is equal to 9 volts. Since the total resistance can be calculated by adding the resistance of the two bulbs, then I is equal to 9 volts divided by 20 ohms. The current that passes through the circuit is 0 0.45 ampere. This time, let us build a parallel circuit and let us compare the current, the voltage, and the resistance in the circuit. The circuit must also contain with two bulbs and one dry cell and connect the ammeter in position 1, 2, and 3. Then we shall determine the voltage using a voltmeter just like in this figure.
Now that we have a simple parallel circuit, let us answer the following. How does the current reading at positions 1, 2, and 3 compare? What does this tell you? You are right again. The total current is equal to the sum of the individual branch currents. This can be written as I sub t is equal to I sub 1 plus I sub 2. And therefore, the total current is 1.8 amperes. How does the voltage reading at positions 1, 2, and 3 compare? What does this tell you? Very good! The voltage is equal across all components in a parallel circuit. Since the total resistance can be calculated using the formula 1 over R sub T is equal to 1 over R sub 1 plus 1 over R sub 2, so we have I over R sub T is equal to 1 over 10 ohms plus 1 over 10 ohms. The answer is equal to 5 ohms. Using the formula of Ohm's law, I is equal to V divided by R, 9 volts divided by 5 ohms, the current is 1.8 ampere. In a series circuit, electrical devices form a single pathway for electrons to flow. Thus, if two or three bulbs are connected in series, all the other bulbs won't glow because the path for the electron is now disconnected. In parallel connection, the voltage is the same across each device. And so, since most electrical devices require a voltage source of 220 volts, these devices are connected in parallel to be able to get the required voltage which the household socket supplies. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.